everyone, it's Siobhan here. Today's hair idea is a little different for me in that it doesn't incorporate any braids at all, and it's actually been inspired by two different sources. The first one is a television show called Boardwalk Empire. Um, it's in the middle of the third season now, I've been following it since the beginning. And for those of you that don't watch it or don't really know much about it, it's about Atlantic City in the 1920s during Prohibition, so it's kind of like a period piece. And my favorite character is called Margaret Schroeder, or Margaret Thompson now in the third uh, season. I don't know if the actress has extensions or if she wears a wig, but her hair is just about my length, so I think this is going to be a really good look for anybody who has mid-back hair to like APL length hair. Not that the longer haired girls can't do this, I just think it might involve a little bit more work and effort. <laughs> um, what else can I say about it? Anyway, she uh, she has kind of the same like signature hairstyle in most scenes. Like the details kind of vary here and there, but basically what it is is just a bunch of pin curls that are put on the back of her head here, right at the, the base of the neck. And um, I've wanted to do something with her look for a while, so it was just a coincidence that I happened to come across the second source, which is a picture from Pinterest. I will put it in the information bar below so that you can check it out. It didn't have any written instructions and it didn't seem to link to any one particular website with instructions. So uh, yeah, that kind of sucked, but um, the two pictures that are there, because it's like a two picture connected together, I thought that it was really awesome because it kind of gave me an idea of how I could make a sort of Margaret Thompson-esque look. And I hope that you guys like the video. Things you'll need for this hair project, um, definitely a comb, um, some sort of mirror. You're going to need bobby pins. I have the closed pins like this, and I also have some open pins like this. And of course, a few clear elastics. And this is kind of optional. It's up to you how you want to curl your hair. But I'm going to be using um, this Conair curling iron. It's just a cheap thing that I found in a drugstore, but it does the trick. I'm starting off on hair that has just been freshly blow dried straight and I've got a side part which I'm going to keep for now. I'm going to be dividing my hair into three sections. However, in the Pinterest picture there are five sections. There's one here at the front and then there are four small pigtails along the back. Now I tried it that way and I found that I didn't like it as much. Um, so I decided to cut back on some of the sections and just make the three and see how that went. And I think I preferred it that way. I'm going to start by taking a section here. So it's a pretty good one. It goes from the ear up. So it's like a half section. And with this hair here, I'm just going to clip it off for now just to get it out of my way. In my comb, I'm going to make a straight part with the rest of my hair down. So I'm going to be dividing my hair into like two pigtail sections. And I'm going to use a clear elastic to make two little pigtails, and they're gonna be fairly low on my head. The pigtails don't have to be even, and the part doesn't have to be straight, but you kinda of wanna have the same amount of hair in each pigtail. Now, if you happen to have heavier hair than mine, thicker, kinkier, curlier, then maybe try doing four sections or four pigtails in the back because you're just trying to break your hair up into tiny little sections so that it's easier to work with. Um, but since my hair is fine, the four sections was just a little bit too much for me. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create pin curls. And what's cool about this look is that you can do it a hundred million times and it looks different each time. So as I said before, you can always curl your hair beforehand, but I am going to do it now that my hair is in pigtails. So I'm starting on my left side and I'm fairly high up on the strand and I want to create like a ringlet just because it is easier than for me to pin. You'll see what I mean in a sec. I have this little ringlet curl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip my finger in it and I'm going to roll it to my head. I like using the curling iron because it kind of helps create the shape that I want. And it's basically just rolling it, rolling it up. And then I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm gonna pin it somewhere onto my head. In terms of pinning pin curls, it's so much easier to do this on the back of someone else's head. And you'll find that your bobby pins are gonna be showing a little bit, but that's okay because once you got all the um, the curls up, then you can go back with a mirror and like move things around. What I try to do is I open up my little pin 
and I'm grabbing a bit of hair from my scalp in the center of the ringlet and I'm also grabbing some hair from the center of the curl so I'm trying to hide the bobby pin um, but it doesn't always work um, so yeah you can see my bobby pin sticking out right there but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now until I get everything up and then I'm gonna rearrange the bottom section you can take your top section down and it's up to you how you want to do it you can either put it all into a ponytail and then just continue with the pattern of curling and pinning but I am gonna do something else I'm gonna take two sections from the front here get them out of my way sorry my phone and they're going to be the last two sections I curl. The goal is to use this hair to cover the part in the back. So I am just going to brush it all back and make a small ponytail tying it right above um, the knot in the back or the curls in the back. So I'm just making random curls with the, the ponytail that I tied here and I've got these two sections obviously. Um, I'm leaving them for last. In case my elastic from my ponytail is showing, I'm going to use these to make curls that will go over it. So uh, I'm just kind of taking piece by piece from my ponytail and trying to pin them like some on this side, some on this side, and uh, yeah. All of my hair pinned up I'm just going to take these two pieces since they're the last ones and I'm not going to tie them into any ponytails or anything I'm just going to curl them and pin them back into the updo I'm going to try to use them to cover the elastic um, I don't think you oh well you can kind of see it if I tilt my head all the way back but I'm just definitely going to cover it all the way with my hair and I'm going to do a crisscrossy thing so I'm going to curl them and then I'm going to take this side and crisscross it over here and this side and crisscross over there. I hope that makes sense. So I've got my first curl and I'm just going to bring it back like that. I'm going to use a bobby pin and I'm going to bobby pin it kind of like over the elastic. I'm just crisscrossing. And now with the rest of the hair, I'm just going to make a pin curl. Pulling it back, pinning it kind of over the elastic. And with the rest of my hair, I'm just going to make a little pin curl. This is how it turned out on me. So you can see that some of my loops, some of my pin curls are small, some of them are large. They're in every which direction. Um, they're not in or any particular order at all. That's kind of what I like about hairstyles like this is that uh, you can do them a thousand times and they're going to look different each and every time you do them. And uh, it's also, it's perfect for a casual occasion. It's also really good for a formal occasion. And uh, there's nothing to stop you from building an updo like this right here on the top of your head or on the side of your head. I just happen to be emulating someone today who, who wears her hair like this here at the base of her neck. But um, yeah, I guess you could do anything that you wanted um, in terms of placement. But uh, that's all that I can think of to say about this. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was helpful. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.